have shown throughout the event. The endurance that they have. So, Genji on defense, G2 on attack. We got double sheriff. Dude, these guys love sheriffs on pistol. They love a double sheriff on pistol. They are a really difficult team to overcome. For now, slow approach, everybody. Working their way forward. Pushing up over here towards this A side tap on the door. Paranoia across much can get him by that one. But Dude, the bait was so two. strong and they forced through a wall and a molly, so they had to start getting their knives out. Slows Bro. And shuts down everything that G2 wanted to get started here in the pistol. Yeah, this is an unusual setup from Gen G. Shifting Meteor over into that tree position with the nano. Some wall shots, not gonna connect. A little bit of damage on the icy. Push up forward. And, and the volume up, like here. Yeah. Should be a bit better now. Better. Now just Trent and Icy. Tap on the spike. You're back sight, but a double set up here as they jump onto the corner. Trent will be able to find another as texture will fall, but Icy just so damn low. Trying to clear out some space. Sends out the paint shields, but spike. Okay, I mean, really nice pistol. It felt like G2 maybe had some kind of read on their pistol because normally you would like prods, get info at door, but they sent it straight through door and it looks like G2 were just massively on top that this was going to be the pistol. Uh, so they want to we had wool, molly, and a double bait. Side, which has been their attacker side. So really interesting setup. Really smothers this initial push from G2. Then they're able to Whoa. find some good kills there at the end. Keeping yeah, G2 they're pumped up as well, bro. Pistol gods lost. Dude, they were. They've been um. Two guardians, two sheriffs here. For the side of Gen G. A few pistols. They've been bought. struggling a little bit recently. Some early spam. Meteor though, gonna have to dip out. Under a lot of pressure, backing away. Oh, Lockheed. Okay, we, we had a uh, we had a sheriff and we had a ghost, and there goes the ghost. And we're allowed two deaths. And dude, Genji always do this thing where they just like they don't buy much at all, especially on defense. Set up on the nano just in the corner, trying to clear out that cubby. Again, G2 held at bay, seeking value, seeking some kind of kill. Sure. Meteor continues to press the issue. He will get taken down, but lock in there. Dance but that's back. okay. They're allowed these deaths. Like, they're allowed three deaths. The tap on the door. They just want to go ahead and smother him. They will. Yeah, I mean, this is a great start. Lucky halfway to his ult as well. Not too bad. Okay, Genji full buy, and we're just going to keep an eye on Munchkin. I imagine he drops the gun and buys. Yeah, okay, so we get full buy, v full buy, really. It's basically the same. Couple of Guardians, that's a, that's a really good bonus. Got to keep an eye on Icy. Two away from his ult. Wait, what is this? Especially on this defender side killjoy you know you think back to those ascent moments where he's getting those multiple triple kills those 4k's things like that he's incredibly sturdy incredibly smart knows when he can take space knows when he has to give it up you just saw it really well in that last round oh okay so they wanted to do the molly the wanted rip. to do the molly oh. early all right I mean, this is a, a real point of interest for me. And then they picked up the gun. All right. I mean, nice from nice from Gen G to go aggro over towards A. With that as well, we stack one over towards B. Got double. Dude, this is a hard round for Gen G. Oh, and after they win this. Uh, dear, thank you so much. Dear underscore Faye, thank you for the gifted. Appreciate you for doing that. Thank you, thank you. Over on that C site, a little bit of spray out from Leaf. Just trying to see if he can soften up any of those HP bars, but nothing spotted quite just yet. Genji, what did I say? Gen. Onto the B site, just Wait, what did I say? To check there, but so far, G2 Misplaced in names. Of the map. About too many Gs. From the likes of it's too early. Genji 2. I'm just covering my bases. Usually it's those two. You got to be considered of and got to be checking for it. So some util to clear up, <laughs> knowing that Genji. Really yeah, there's like too many Gs here, dude. And try to crush you as you come out too of many the Gs. It's too early in the morning. Walk 30 seconds left. G2 as they cut sound. A little bit of noise made there by Texture as he hops Okay, so it's a gamble smoke, pivot over towards B. Jesus. Knocked down to 56. Rocket fishing, the wall goes down. They don't spot anything now. Honestly, considering how bad the round looked like 10 seconds ago, this looks really good for G2. Icy with the plunk gets his all. In this bonus. Though on the other side, to see if they can convert. Showstopper at the ready to push up. Oh, the smoke. oh boy, able to take him down. it at least gets it traded, but I don't think that's enough. But Leaf getting another push up into the site, meteor to get some space, able to clear out this omen and put Leaf down to 11. A 3v2. I mean, Jonah P's got to go huge. What the? That is straight through smoke, by the way. 
They know that Leap is low. They know that he's on his oh. Oh, just a little bit behind on the tracer. Finds the kill and Gen G get the bonus conversion. Unbelievable patience here from Gen G and Texture. Yeah, I mean it was nice, man. The fact that they got that early kill, that kind of changed everything, really. Keep it under their control. That gives Meteor the lockdown off that. Uh, yes, so thank you so much as well. Thank you for the six months. Appreciate the prime. The Prowler gets the information. He just sneaks right behind him. Beautiful positioning. From the duelist. Yeah, and they got the all out of them. Even though there's a quick trade, the numbers start to crumble because they lose that player early. Every trade hurts more and more for the side of G2. Gen G off to a roaring start. And they get the Odin out as well. And like the Odin's the thing that counters this comp because it's hard for them to reclear here. When they start to heat up, that's when they get scary. That's when they look unstoppable. Yeah, they want to set an Odin up over towards here. Meyer yeah, it's just so sort of strong now. So then, now they can hold one with this pass, and as soon as the wall go up, they're going to spam Odin, and then we can just 2-2. Two, two. It's a good setup for Gen G. G2, low buy. That's a 5-mouth, not 3-mouth. Jesus, he's confident, bro. The eco. Yeah, he's done so much damage as well. I, I would be tempted to pause if I was G2 at the moment. It's like, um, first of all, they hear the Odin over towards A, so maybe they need to try and take it early because they can't retake it. And also, like, I know this was an eco, but I'm, I'm looking at this and the pistol round. Like, they're forcing so much. They're not, like, prodding for info. They're just sending it. Certainly against an eco. You know, not... The end of the world there for the side of G2, but he seems so clean, so snappy with it. Just a little bit of a peek of the head from Leap. And that's all he needs to spam him through the wall, take him down. One enemy you remaining. can see that Gen G, so well coordinated, great push and pull at the end there between Karan and Munchkin. Great util timing from Munchkin there to make sure that the Yeah, and they're going to set this Odin up over towards A still. again. And. On the rubble, early orb, and that's Dude, and they get the all into it as well. They got double. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the hell is that kill, man? That's crazy. Well, that's the round that's pretty open now. That means the the Odin now has to go over towards B. That's sick. They're just so wary of this B site with that showstopper available. You have to try to create a little bit more space. See if you can bait it out in another situation. That's nice though, they hear that it's a rifle here and not the Odin, so they can actually push out. It's nice though at the moment, this question mark over towards A. It's interesting that they leave a raise here, does that mean they want to send it before they push into... See. A few extra players over. Finally, Meteor gonna be heading over to C, but this is okay. You had the lockdown to play for the tank. Lockdown sounds a good time, but for V5, they put the lockdown into it. Surely they don't use the razor on top of it. It's like their only advantage at the moment. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, chat. This is a. a hold up. Karen getting a piece, and suddenly we're in a 2v2. The creep forward. He spotted No way, bro. Bro, Meteor's unbelievable. It's his best the event by far, and he's fight. just completely won the this round solo. Yeah, I mean, he's looking like one of the best. He's literally looking like one of the best. What's his score at the moment? 14-2? Jeez, dude. How does he get double? Oh, my God. How snappy he is. So good with this Phantom. Yeah, I was about to say this. I was literally about to say this is a giant win for G2. They get uh, two ults out of them, but... He has been. He's put it on display. The clutches that he's had to get the team this far. But Meteor right now... I'm looking at the scoreboard and it's scenes that we have not seen. 14-2 and 2. 14-2? That's insane. That's... 
That's insane. In five rounds, almost three kills around that he's averaging right now. And yes, a much needed timeout here for the side of G2. 14 to 2 in five rounds. Right, it's down for the moment, but certainly not out. No. This team would not have gotten here without being able to pull off one of the craziest... Meteor, the yeah. Craziest We've never seen him play like this, really. On a VCT stage. Yeah, everyone's always we talked about his potential. Never underestimate them. But... We never right really now, seen it on this level. It's, it, this is ridiculous levels that he's hitting. Palin, we've seen it time and time again. That slow start, that build up, that download of his opponent started, you know, really Okay, and G2, so they know they're up against an Odin. and I'm pretty sure they saw it get picked up, and so they know that they want to take controller here. They know that they want a 2 2 after that. So, what they want to do is late fight over towards A and just make sure they can get a bit of space before the Odin locks them down in this square and then they wall up and get spammed. So, it makes a lot of sense from G2, I think this is a good timeout. The problem is they've got no guns really to fight this heavy, but they might just fully. Fully send it. Start connecting. Could be a fast one. Oh yeah, they're fully sending it. Spray into the smoke here, texture. Not even needing the hunt. Connect. He's able to find one, and immediately the shutdown coming through. Then is the eco round, so not going to be as concerned here. But the aggression that Chen Ji are putting on display at the moment. G2 struggling to fight back against the meteor, tucking away. Nice shot from Jonah P. Bay is so strong. B, but yeah, the bay is so <laughs> strong. Dude, that's such a good read as well. They just fully left C open. Man, the reads from Gen G right now. On the pistol and this. I think A may be just part of the equation if they're going to really have success because meteors making B and C just completely untenable. Good yeah, I mean, they literally went aggro A with three, and they went aggro A, and then they pivoted over towards B after, and they had two B. If there's any difference, there will be an Odin counter spam from Leaf to begin. He needs one more kill for a lockdown of his own. He's going to send Genji behind the toxic screen to wait this out with the spot on Takara and takes him down. This is nice, though. They change up, change up their fade eye. It's going to be on the Omens. Alan does fall. Okay, this is looking like the best round, but they don't force through this, right? Oh god, Jonah. Scaling up, tucking here alongside Jonah P. Not reading it at all. Munchkin plays it patient. And now just backs away. Some spray through. For God's sake, man, this map is so stupid now. Look at the HPs from the spams. Prowler as well. That information, keep now, I mean, honestly, people oh, weren't using Odin enough. It, it pretty much is only this year. Like, literally, no one was using the Odin until this year. Like, T1 started off heavily. That was it. T1 started off heavily. Uh, Fnatic used it a little bit on attack. God, they're getting annihilated. But, I mean, it was a low. Well, it was a full buy, right? Yeah. It's it's starting to look dire. I mean, yes. Hey, it feels like they can't. It feels like they literally can't go away. They have in this event generally been better on their defender side, but at this point you need to win some rounds. You've got to keep Genji honest here. Is this over? It, it's not over just because you can do the same thing on defense, right? And this common struggles to get out towards a late and early. Like it's uh, you can you can just do it back to them. A little bit of counter spam. But you have again. to get the Odin out. Only a smidge of damage on the Trent there. It's gonna send G2 packing back over into Meteor. Yeah, and this is it again, right? Odin set up towards A, 2-2. Two, two. Fado goes in, use double util to stop them. Ooh. But Valen does this quite a lot. Viper ult goes in, but are they going to realize that they can spam this? Killjoy ult to push him out of the Viper ult. This is a really nice Killjoy ult. They got Lackey's ult to retake. Dead off the rip as the nightfall crashes the cross. Couple of players gonna be spotted. The drop down tension landing right in front of the enemy Viper, not quite spotting him out, but now finding him. Pit. Damn, Genji played this well. I'm surprised that Jonah tried to get back in instead of spamming it a little bit. 
still hard to defuse this. There it is. Oh. Clear out. It's going to be good. Meteor able to find one, but he, Trent, both finding a piece. Karen, clear it out. 2v1. Leave. Now bring it to the 1v1. Okay, I, I mean, nicely done, done in the end from G2. It took Those everything all wise. And that's going to be G2. <laughs> yeah. Long last. First game, of course, we get the it. The Red Bull clutch. Yeah. New drown here for G2. Desp is going to be waking Rage up furious. Of their ultimates. To bait out some of I tell you what though, Genji well. used a lot of ults as well, so it's not like it's not like it was an all in and they saved all their ults to reset them. Beautiful, beautiful sprays, beautiful readjustment on the texture. Finds himself two huge kills to make sure that they can get that round. Much, much needed round. However. Gen yeah, however, look at their bite. Okay, they get the Odin out on attack to spam the Odin. Oh, dude, I've, I've been talking about that this year, how people keep mistiming shooting this. So weird. here for the side of G2 as they look to string a second round together consecutively. Munchkin. Lurking, waiting, snapping. Yeah, yeah, the fact he got a dink that there was, was huge. HP. I mean, they're going to random push this at one point, right? Themselves. Together? And they're here pretty fast. Valen needs to kill one. What's the spacing like? Oh, awful. Okay, okay. Two in a row. Money's still good for Gen G. Maybe they time out. Yeah, and. The fact they got an Odin, uh, the fact they got an Odin on attack now, they could definitely time out. It means that they can get out towards A because they can just span the line, make sure no one goes close. Clear space. There's good trades for G2. That really breaks things open for them. You know, Munchkin plays behind this box well enough, but once he's isolated there, it's really difficult to find any success. Sven Valen is going to be outsmarting his opponents, hiding in the corner. Well handled. The economy, the pockets of Genji are deep. So they're able to grab another Odin. Curious, no operator yet. Poor texture seems like part of the game plan. Oh, some damage done to him. Yeah. Down to 70. Just have that showstopper, but not much more likely to be shut down. Piano's going to be lobbed in. Just going to clear out some of this other KJU tilt. Last time it was an early lockdown, but I don't think they're going to get it in place in time. Jesus. Doesn't seem like a meteor. He's just looking for a time. He pushes up. He's able to find Valen. They took a lot of damage getting into this. Texture's all for retake is going to be huge. Yeah. Whoa. Wait, where did he even throw his ult here? It felt like he really messed that one up, right? Yeah, I think he really messed that up. He went for the straight. Vertical. Satchel. Yeah, just a little bit too high on this one. Back to the server to check that one. And G2 three in a row. It's definitely want to see some kind of timeout. Try to push forward there, but now you're starting to see G2 playing really well for those trades. I think Meteor just uh, feeling himself a little too much there. You could call that an overheat, I suppose. He did get one, but. Still had that lockdown, still had the opportunity to maybe kind of fall back and play for a retake potentially there. Is that meaning this kills with a Razel this tourney? Bro, it's every tourney, honestly. Razels are, uh, really are a thing. Well, really starting to make sure that all their angles are covered. Doing a good job five rounds, dude. Five rounds would be unbelievable if G2 style. got that, it's considering the start being the same. This entire event. Yeah, Genji definitely need a timeout. Superstar, no. kind of... Railroading, no, not at all. Everybody's had their moments for this G2 squad. I mean, Icy has really stepped up as a rookie. Valen is Valen. He's always really, really strong. Leap is nuts, especially with the outlaw. Really, really nuts with that. And that really Oof, opens up really. opportunities for G2. But in general, when it's a team effort, things really start to rock and roll. For G2, and now it's going to be Gen G's turn. So the thing is, they could be tempted out. to do something so aggro here, stop the here. Three but in a row. it's too obvious because they just did a timeout. So Gen you want to look for something to aggro maybe on the last round. Like maybe yep, they do again, a CB crunch on the last round. And then if you're them here, you could just fight over towards C as well on this round. They haven't really fought over towards C. That is still not going to be comfortable. It's like the main thing you'd be expecting. Considering how things started off. They want to try to put an end to this one. 
G2 starting to come alive, starting to show us the performances that we have been seeing from them in this tournament. Nah, it doesn't really happen that to often, refresh. Like, teams into... teams will normally this just play every final. round out. No doubt about it. And I think for Gen G, it's probably just. Oh, we get this up nice and early. Hold up. This is cool. Being aware of how you can I mean, they could definitely do some cool ideas. Uh, like, this better. gives them options. Sure uh, they're, the they're just going to leave B on retake or something place. like that. I reckon they go aggro Time's next round though, because like they definitely earlier. want to go aggro, yeah, go but it's too obvious here. Yeah. But moments like that before, maybe just a little bit more pause. Yeah, so leave B, go aggro A. Really trying to hound G2 on those executes. Really paint shells, taunt TP up on top of rubble, and Lockie has found one. With Setting the up the old and the old and just insta spam. <laughs> it's a good reaction from G2 though. Straight up into into B. Problem is they got kill drill, so they're gonna make sure that they plant good and they're gonna. Uh oh. Big jewel. Okay. That's huge, and the Fado only hit one more, so they know they got full map control. And they could just stick this pretty early, though. Hold up. They could get half now. I think Genji messed up a little bit. Looking to continue upward, the push of the corner, and Lockett cannot make it happen now. It all falls immediately, and he's instantly. Yeah, Genji messed up a little bit. G2 played really well, like really, really well. Uh, especially Trent, honestly, Trent just sticking for that extra time, just making sure they couldn't get on it. Yeah, I mean, G G2 played this really well, really, really well. But Genji kind of messed up a little bit. They had to at least get half here, and then they pushed the wrong part of the map. Shout out to G2, though. They knew this all was going to go down. They knew they needed the map control. Fatal to get the map control pushed in. Um, who, chat, who is this guy? Was this Valon? He did great. Who's it, was it Valon or was it Jonah P? They got the trade, got the trade on Raze and then killed this guy. It was Jonah P. Of course it was, man. It's always this guy. Setups over at A continuing to be a thorn on the side here up G2. But we've been seeing more of that clutch, more of that perseverance from them. See if they can scoop up this last. Round of the half, make it a seven and five. That would be huge. They Still think four is pretty good considering. Because their defender side is really nasty to deal with. But for now, trying to spread the map a little bit more. Jonah P, trying to see what info he can get over on the C site. Karan, all alone, doesn't like what he sees over on the other side. So that util. Start creating some presence. Lock yeah, Trent still has a lot of door. util though. No Odin this time. Okay, Stay so question mark created over towards A. For now, G2 is just going to use that. Dude, yeah, they're kind of low of the time. Yeah, so he's going to open door, create another question mark a little bit further, try and drag a rotate in. Oh, that's unlucky. They did this as the door went in. Yeah. That alarm will kind of wrecked him a little bit. Trying to find the wall bank shot meter in the meantime. Back over towards that C side, people to find one, but then gets flushed yeah, out. Yeah, did unreal, though. Well. Mitya got a kill on C and then got traded. TP now, outside of mound here from the side of Caron. Driving as they look to try to surround Swarm onto these G2 players, but Jonah pushing forward, taking space and waterfalls, able to find one. Now a 3v2. I mean, they're, they're all individual drills right now. Lucky was weak. A really nice push out there from Jonah P, understanding the state of the game. Damn, bro. 2v4 into a 2v2? Absolutely winnable here for the squad. For this Not a good plant for Mound. So Vi press to go a bit more aggro. Way forward. Just outside waterfall, Jonah P. Scaling up into the Wow, look at the timing. the timing. The backstab potential. He's played it patiently. Oh, oh bro, Jonah P is a god, man. <laughs> Jonah P is a god. Yeah, they got five? That's insane, dude. Seven nil down to five. Jonah was unreal. The college of clutch. Your professor His Jonah timing through that smoke was session, absolutely unbelievable. That is disgusting. Look at it. It's like, oh no, he beeped it. And then he just yeah, and it looked like he messed he it up. But. It over the line. What a four piece. What a run back. 7 0.
from Gen G to start off this map in the, the College of Clutch. Yeah, that was sick. That is incredible. They're still out in front, but not by much. Gen G, let's <laughs> Kilio, yeah, Kilios is a beast, man. Uh, Corvus, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for the six months. Appreciate that. Four v two. I mean, Jonah played it well though. The push to get the, the extra kill was giant, and like it, the omen ult from Karen was like it wasn't even bad. He wanted to just lock him in. Jonah? Yeah, I mean, he's been... I would say arguably the best player. The problem is that Cryo's been insane. But, like, impact-wise, Jonah's been unreal. Uh, sorry, not Cryo. No, honestly, I would say Jonah's been their best. Yeah, dude, the, the morning's killing me, man. I mixed up the NA team. Uh, Pendulum, thank you so much for the two Very months. Much. Thank you, thank Humbled you. The latter half of the opener here on Lotus. Leaf, Leaf had a good start, but I mean, Leaf had like an insane first game, but then it hasn't really been the same since. It's been impactful. You were talking about the adjustments that they're able to make with Valen. Honestly, even Icy's been doing like really good first kills. I mean, just so, so smart. Genji, yes, this is generally the better side of their map. So, what, were those seven rounds enough for Genji? Okay, pistols. Really get over the line here. A lot One, of space no. being given up at A. This is something that G2 does sometimes. They're happy to try to really just kind of harass you at the point of attack, stall you out, and find those opportune timings to shut you down. Really did a great job of it against Heretics. Huh. Now, I like this. This is cool. Backed off a bit by the util. Of Gen G. Keep an eye on this reaction, double there, push. This is taking too long. Yeah, they, they take a control. It's not even taking too long, it's just the fact that this is just a great push. Like they've locked them in fully. Yeah, and they got no info on this flank, and they are completely wrecked because this killer is dead, right? Oh, he turned. Wow, that's a shot, man. That's a double dink. Look at this angle. They're coming from everywhere, RG2. This is going to be so tricky. Trying to isolate the heaven angle, Argen G. But that boom bot is a good job clearing him. However, Texture dodges it. Still a little monstrous advantage at the moment here for the side of G2. A 5v3 on the retail with Lockia. Able to find two pieces there. That's Lee Fen Jonah people. Both going to get taken down. Tap onto the spike, swing onto the corner, Texture unable to find their shot. <laughs> hey, nice. Honestly, nicely done from Trent. Uh, Leaf hit an absolute kill as well, for sure. Close the gap. Okay, they a pistol each as well. We love that. Six in a row at the moment for G2. Yeah, so Spray, G2 spray G2 thank you so much for the prime as well, bro. Spray, thank you, thank you for doing that. On this map, is willingly giving up space, but making it hard for the other team to get a read. On nice. what's going on the other side of things, and then I like this pistol though. Up. This, um, really Sa sorry, the the raise raise nade tether in it Hobbit. That was a pretty cool idea. The work, the map, it looked like it was good placed time. as well, in terms of if you're trying to get around the corner, it would kill you here. Curious if there was going to be a marshal there purchase for me. Okay, they no. buy everything into this, they do not want to get ecos. Three bulldogs, a Dude, this is way too many. Uh, this is see if they can do any damage. Is this not way too many? Let's see. I mean, they got the plant. The thing that worries me about this is Leaf loves the outlaw. Leaf swinging way out wide. Smoke. First one dissipating. There's the push. There's the kill. Stinger able to find two. This Leaf somehow gets that spray to connect. <laughs> Decent mid range damage. Dude, the Stinger worries me, man. The, the neon Stinger stuff we're going to see is going to be crazy. The way that he isolated those fights. I see spots one. Swings shot. forward, finds the headshot. Meteor gonna be taken down, not allowing for that sheriff to do any damage. 
push up. Munchkin and Lockyer to see if they can deal anything else here to this economy from the side of G2. But for now, they're just holding on to all these weapons quite nicely. Just the stinger on the floor. Until going to give it away. Munchkin trying to mess with Icy, but Icy knows those sheriffs really strong. In the hands of Gen G, he doesn't want to give it up for free. Trying to worry about a double face as long as he gets some pot shots. Looks like Plant will be allowed to Honestly, come get to the plum, which probably means that they can buy Retake armor and otherwise Leaf would have bought an outlaw. Oh, it's a great reposition, by the way. Oh, hold up. Not saying he's winning, but push out of this angle he's he's, he's getting angle. like at least one he the taps. here's the first one finds it can readjust for the second now it's three players facing paranoia hey, he did pretty good there um, yeah i actually think the plant is giant here that extra money and because leaf went down he would have looked at the money here and been like well that's like three people that would have had light armor so the plant means that they can get heavy armor so well whether it's the way that leaf is able to use the mountain to isolate seven in a row for both yeah seven and seven challenge two players at once instead it's one one has a chance at a third can't quite convert and then icy there not trying to challenge munchkin in a 1v1 waiting until he has help waiting until he has a crossfire angle set up there it's really really good discipline patient play from the side of g2 you do have locky as nightfall yeah that, that's the big one at the his. moment trent's one away but it is just like a low buy so they might just accept this one got fade eye going in let's see if they shoot it seven in a row now for G2, just answering both right back. Both teams just Wait. very streaky so far. What was that fade eye from Gen G? Like you said, G2 on they popped side. a fade eye here. Did they miss it? They or is this like a new fade eye that been, sees people going close? Been. Gen G gotta be sweating. Look at the defense that they have here with all this KJ utility. This is gonna be so tricky if Gen G keeps pushing this direction. Push forward, texture just drifting right in the lead. And we'll be able to flush him out. A nice tap through the wall, Bunchkin. Cleaning out, flushing up that KJ. But still a 4v4, still an opportunity here for G2 to convert this bonus round. Face your fear. Nightfall trying to charge oh, up the front counter with a nice readjust. Finds one, but he's Oh, yeah, they didn't expect the other. So he's able to go ahead and put another weapon out of play here for Gen G. We didn't hit a TP. He's gonna be heard. Munchkin spotting another. Has to back away. Is, it's gonna be the haunt reveal and Valent. Nearly locked in place. Let's avoid the seas. Lockia yeah, not ready. Just swinging in the drop. He falls down now. Already significant damage dealt, but there's only two players left here from Gen G. Got one. Meteor able to equalize the count a little bit more. The push forward. Jonah no way. He gets a double. He gets a headshot kills. there as well. Is he not running? Oh my god, my Meteor, bro. Munchkin will be left standing, but that is still significant damage dealt. Exactly. That's not as clean as you'd like for Gen G. Just kind of falling right into the trap that G2 has set up. Yeah, they're able to brute force their way through it, but at what cost? Well, first round in eight. Losing a lot of guns. And Meteor once again bailing out Gen G here. 19 and 9 on this map. But after that 14 and 2 start, it's been a little bit quieter. Absolutely, this nightfall huge. Seems like Gen I mean, the show is huge, bro. This second kill. Some of the positionings, you know, Jesus. Not ready for the player at drop, even though I'm <laughs> His adjustment's pretty insane. A uh, smile, I guess. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you for the four months. Appreciate that. Okay. Got to stop paying attention to this one because we've got a big swing round. We've got everyone here that can't buy. We've got three people from Gen G. This one's worth two at 8-7. It's huge. Trent, all about this all. Leaf two away. Dude, Gen G, a large chat. Gen G lose this. This should be, should be. I say that. Should. Uh, should be playing sailing for G2, to be honest. They'll be heavy favorites after this round. This is pretty typical. Or the side of Gen G. Gen G is quite far away from Rubble. ults. You're going to have Meteor towards B, and you're going to have the other three trying to make attention wherever they think they can find space. It's a decent read here for Leaf. Just the Prowler sees a lot of players, though. It's a nice, it's a nice default at the moment, though. Gen G commits. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Like, all map control right now. I've never seen a team love playing this corner as much as G2. The thing is, it's normally Jonah P, and they normally only play it when there's a smoke the here. Viper smoke here, but this time we have the Viper smoke here, so shout out to G2 for uh, changing a lot of their setups up. Some of the reads that maybe teams had. They've changed it up, bro, look at this. Oh, whoa, did they check because of the... Did they check because of the crowd? That is a that is a crowd there. Jonah still sat here. They might have thought they might think that this site has been evacuated. 
And now there's just no time. Shot is going to be found. Jumping Peak going to be taken down. Plant coming through with just a second to spare. But everybody deafened. Paint oh shows my god, the nade is so the close. Tension holds the line for now as Trent going to be taken down. Trying to make That's a hard retake. Draw. They got Omen Flash. That's about it. Tenji now. It hit one. Wise to the angles of approach. Didn't even hit one. one but is not having none of it. Another ping. Another player at drop. Fallon trying his luck. Lee finds one. Texture will be taken down. Readjust from Karen. Able to find that. Now Leaf in a 1v2. Stinger in hand. We've seen what kind of damage this can deal. Holding on it. <laughs> Wait, Dick to down to 25. This is a good attempt. I mean, yeah, lost the kill because of the crowd, but uh, still won the round. So, all good. Uh, giant, giant round means we actually get a pretty close game, though. So, that's cool. G2 got an eco. The, the real damage is that Munch can get so much space what is and that, bro? all over the players of Gen G to this A site to get the Yeah, they had really good positions. Like, the fatal didn't matter at all because everyone was just watching all of the angles, so the no sound didn't matter. being able to get to the plant and get into those post plant positions. Good job by Gen G reading those drops. G2 kind of falling one by one there, and they're back to an eco of their own. They do have a lockdown. Maybe they can find out. Shot, man. Shot. <laughs> That's an absolute shot. Oi, oi, oi. Hold up. We got two big guns down right now. Yeah, and they smoke it off to try and make sure they get the gun. I think that all would have been great. But I think they kind of want him to get into sight here. And they punish it with this overstack. Really smart stuff. Lockdown now in play. Leaf looking to hold him at bay. Push forward, they'll lock you. Okay, they didn't get too much from it, other than info that they're in here. Still got a Teva. Teva's kind of big. Oh. Lucky it gets a kill and it's the one. Oh. Two V five. Dealt with meteor. Oh my god, the shots in this. Oh my god. Damn bro, there's a giant, giant round. They get three gun upgrades. One, two, three. Keeping it so very close. What a read in response. Huge man. Absolute huge round. This, this shot from Leaf is outrageous. Yeah, incredible stuff here. Leaf is so clean with this sheriff. And then on the other side, on the other extremity of the map, they're able to take down Munchkin for free. They don't even get traded in that. Oh my god, it's so snappy. Just sees the feed of texture. Takes him down up that one way. Incredible, incredible stuff. Ooh, we even got the dink there to Valen. Insane. <laughs> yeah, he's just about to talk about his shot there. Um, Gen G force into it. The only person that takes the hit is the Viper. No util missing. So another giant round. Two people from G2 can't buy next. Everyone from Gen G. Oh, he backs off. Just wanting to clear out some util on the opposite side. Looks like not willing to overstay. G2 they've, still playing it safe. They've left the C site completely open here. Valen is shifting in that direction, but all of that KJ Util gambled on the A site, trying to go against. Yeah, Genji have been doing G2. good at just really like to work their way getting a. all of this map control. Like G2 have been playing pretty we'll passive. Left open. See if can find and it feels like Genji kind of realized that they play very passive with their Viper Viper Util. Showstopper finding the spot off the haunt reveal texture, able to take down Valen. This was a. He also did. He also did different pathing. It, it looked like I don't know what info they got, but it looked like because they didn't do something over towards A once they had that info, they knew that Omon was here, and he did different pathing to avoid the flash. What it looked like. Could be wrong. It's a, ooh, it's a big nade because that was the ult. A little bit closer here as counter spray. Both players tagged. Karen, however, now down low. Meteor able to find one, but Jonah P finishes off Meteor. One can try to hold the line with just a singer in Jonah hand. P. Found Jonah P picking up Karen on the spray, eventually connecting his texture. Tries to find the kill. Challenges in. Looks wow, like they, oh, wait, chat. The double swing on site here for them to both swing right. That was incredible. 
Scrape by with around yeah. I mean, shout out to Jonah P here. He nearly made that one doable as well. He finds a good timing. What's interesting yeah, is from Dory owned them, but, check for that, but that double swing like on sight, really whoever called that, it was so it. fast and the reaction chaos. was so good. Not really sure if he just didn't hear it. That his turret had activated. I mean, he still gets big kills on the site. Still keeps Gen G very much in this round. Hopefully, we get to see it. Uh, like, maybe from the guy at the back. Yeah, so, this so guy good. went wide, guy so, close. So oh, that was nice. Oh. Now starting to find his form. 15 and 14. They're in a weird spot. The they got like three G. people that uh, have 5k, and they got two people that have here. like 2,000. Try to figure out they can salvage this defender side. Some big ultimates available to play with. Coming into these next couple rounds. Gen G. Really looking good on their alt cycle as well. So this is going to be another back and forth. We're but this really is going to be an easy timeout, right? This is literally, we're playing too passive. We got to, we can't give them this much map control. They took A and C within the first 30 seconds. You can't let teams do that. Because of how scrappy these rounds have been, it is not a good position here for Chen G. As far as the cash is concerned, see him scraping together a buy. It's looking like it's going to be, you know, triple guardian with half armor behind it. Things also... A bit rough in the G2 camp, but they have shown us here on this map already throughout this tournament that that is not going to stop them. What are your What are your odds on a Munchkin multi kill? <laughs> Got a Guardian. Out. It's uh, <laughs> decent odds there. But Trent, it might not be an Odin, but he's got an Ares. It's so still not bad though. Just it's just a low buy for G2. Oh, okay. I mean, they got hit by the Omen Flash as well. They couldn't see the fade eye. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you might want to save that for the next round. Dude, with that kill as well, Munchkin gets his ult. They have four. Okay, there, there are four ults for this round. Four ults, G2 after eco. Well, I say that the eco, they would obviously force by, but they would have like 3k for last round. This is a hard round for G2, man. You could definitely be tempted to go super aggro. Like a CB, a CB uh, aggro play here would make a lot of sense. Credit to Valen, the fact that he's able to escape out of this and find two kills. That's impressive, but it may be too little too late. Four G2. Four ults. Four ults. I mean, they have their own ults, though. That's true. They have their own ults. And they put the alarm bot down, so it's instant Viper all over towards C. Hmm, maybe just have Cotton Tank. A little bit of a decay damage, it would seem here, but still. Decent damage dealt. Nade in the back. I see able to find one as Munchkin will fall, but Karen picking up, finishing off that enemy fade. Ah, he's doing good, man, but the rest the of his team is just dead. Yeah, th this made a lot of sense from G2, right? Instead of going super aggro, they talked about similar things that I said. Like, they had too much map control for free, so they wanted to punish over towards A with the wall, but... Like, I feel like the call was good. Pushing it, pushing forward, looking for the intercept, looking for the interrupt. Will not be able to find that. Take it down. Meteor. <laughs> Bro, me, me is just sick, man. And the the thing is, at least finds out where he so is with the ult. The drift across. Jonah yeah, so they find out where he is, and that's so fine. Yeah, I mean, the fact that it's a plant over, for, over towards tree, you got to think that this guy's all hit and gone tree. Can't really blame him for that one. And these are these scrappy A rubble fights that Gen G is very happy to take. Now, Icy does a great job. Uh, Icy does a really good job. I don't know how Valen died. That would be a cool death to see. Uh, that Omen flash hit Valen, so he missed his timing, and then he just ran into two people dueling him. Alright, four chances, and G2 missing a little bit of util. I say a little bit. Omen flash is giant to be missing. G2 pulling it off before. A mango freeze. Back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for doing that, bro. Appreciate you. Got an oiler. Thank you for the five gifted, bro. That's how you know what to do. I see you spamming it already. Keep it going. Thank you so much, mango. If you got gifted as well, make sure you say thank you to mango freeze. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you for doing that, dude.
G2 has set up their KJ Utah on B. I think they're trying to force a pivot over towards that B site. They're trying to collapse Gen G. Trying to make them go through Baby Door, and then use that KJ utility to delay and swarm. See if they can be successful, or if maybe Gen G considers a C rotation. No Odin right on now, defense diff. Yeah, no literally. For Jonah P over at C. See what Gen G wants to do. Making a bit. Yep, they are going to go for C. They're making a bit of a gamble here. No info. This is the giant weakness yeah, against this comp. Not revealing, but Jonah P spotting. That's going to be the pit now. So Coming smart. through. Like you said, just really gambling, trying to force him into that B site. Makes it that much more likely. It's here. an instant call from Gen G. Gen this is a fast call. Down, over yeah, stairs. this is a really Jump fast main, call. And the pressure over towards A, and then everyone just goes towards B. This is a great round. Yeah, I mean, Leaf's got to go huge. I'll just check. Nano's popped. 18 seconds remaining. Ooh. Door broken open. Dink found. Okay. Oh, he's paranoid, but he still finds a shot. Oh, no. Run. They send it in. He I'm not sure they need to kills. send this in. Leaf got the most important kill. He held map control. He tries to go for the push. Lock it. You'll put down Trent. And now it is all on Jonah P. The king of clutch. Can he make it happen again to keep him in this map? Finds the first. Surely he not. Yes, he has a smoke for Spank. Around. Playing elusively here. Jump making noise, checks the close corner, but nothing to be found. Oh. Set up to swing in. Jesus, just tucks away. this guy's brain. They heard they heard a okay, but as he rushes, lovely from Gen G. I mean, 7 0, that's spray. just too much. I, I do, I, I think someone nailed it in chat. I do think that if you want to dominate the defense half against this comp, you've, uh, you've got to get that Odin out over towards A. Hell of a rally back from Gen 